Hey guys, this is Shayi from Don't Go Broke TV and today I want to talk about some important updates to the Canada CPP that could affect your paycheck. The Canada CPP is the Canada Pension Plan. The Canada Pension Plan is a monthly taxable benefit that replaces your income when you retire. So we already know that every year the CPP makes little changes here and there to the Canada Pension Plan. However, the recent changes are making changes to contribution based on your income level. So let me give you a snapshot of what the changes are. If you make less than $66,000, then nothing is going to change for you. You will continue to pay the same amount as you did in 2023. However, if you earn $73,000 and above, you're going to pay an extra $300 in your CPP contributions. Now, before I go ahead, I want to clarify that the CPP is a contribution that you make from your paycheck every month. The monies are not going to the government or any place. The monies are being saved for your retirement. So you contribute and your employer contributes and that money is paid to you monthly when you retire. So it replaces your income that you would normally have gotten if you were working, you will now be getting this CPP as a Canadian resident. However, there are eligibility requirements, but that's not what this video is about. I might do another video talking about the eligibility requirements. But for this video, I just want to quickly talk about some of the changes that are coming in 2024. Now, some of the reasons why these changes are happening, why your CPP contributions are getting higher or getting more is because you guessed it, inflation. Cost of living is increasing, inflation is increasing. That means that cost of living for when you are going to retire is likely going to increase as well. Don't forget that a dollar today might not be a dollar tomorrow. So for you to be able to get a dollar for a dollar in the future when you retire, you need to contribute more to get more. Hope you understand. Now, let's talk about how much you pay for your CPP. There's the basic exemption of $3,500. And what this means is that you don't pay any CPP on the first $3,500 that you earn as your income, and that is not changing in 2024. Anything above $3,500 of your income, you contribute 5.95% of that to your CPP, up to a limit, and that is not changing in 2024. The maximum that you could contribute to your CPP in 2023 is $3,754. Now, for 2024, this amount has bumped up to $3,867. So apparently, the max you pay has gone up by $100. However, you would only reach this max if you have an income of $68,500 and above in 2024, which is your maximum pensionable earnings. So what that means is once you make 68,500 um, income in a year, your CPP contributions would stop. And that means that for the rest of the year, you would probably see an increase in your paycheck. Now let's talk about the big changes coming in 2024 to CPP. Those who are high income earners in Canada will face a second level of CPP contributions. So don't forget that I explained earlier that you pay 5.9% of your income until a limit of 68,500 per year of income. Now there's a second level for any income above 68,500. You get to pay 4% of your income until you get to the second level of $73,200. This is called the additional maximum pensionable earnings. So obviously this is the income that you need to maximize your CPP pensionable contributions. So for the second level contribution, you pay 4% of the difference between 68500 and 73200 which is $4,700. So 4% 4 of that $4,700 is an additional $188 that you will contribute um, for CPP. And this is on top of the $100 we already talked about earlier. So for 2023, the max CPP contribution was 3,754. And for 2024, the max CPP contribution is $4,055. So if your income is above $73,000, you will pay an extra $300 
in CPP contributions. So now let's look at some examples to make it clearer to us, right? So we'll start with the first example of a yearly income of $60,000. Now remember that the basic exemption is $3,500. So you only start to contribute your CPP after you've earned $3,500. So if you earn $60,000, you're only going to pay CPP for $56,500 after taking away the $3,500 exemption amount. So the CPP contribution for this amount to be 5.95% in 2023 and in 2024. So that will be a total of 3,361 contribution in CPP, and it's going to be the same in 2024 as it is in 2023. So there's absolutely no change. So if you earn $60,000, you're going to pay the same CPP that you pay in 2023 in 2024. No change. Now, what about those who earn higher? So let's look at a um an income of ninety thousand dollars which is higher than the maximum pensionable earnings for 2023 which is 66 600 and 68 500 for 2024 so these are the amounts that we're going to use in the in the calculations and not the salary of ninety thousand dollars now we're also going to be taking away the maximum exemption of 3500 and who would have to pay cpp on 63,100 in 2023 and 65,000 in 2024. Now, for these earnings, there is a first level of the 5.95%, which is going to be a contribution of 3,754 in 2023 and $3,867 in 2024. This is the max amount of CPP contributions in the level one or tier one. Now let's move on to level two or tier two. And this is new for 2024. Tier two has an income ceiling of 73,200. And we're only going to be concentrating on the difference between the ceiling for tier one and tier two, or level one and level two, which we have talked about earlier. If you remember, the difference is 4,700. And on this amount, you will pay the new CPP rate of 4%. And that will give you an amount of $188. So when you add the $3,754 that we got earlier to the $188 that we just calculated now, that will give a total of $4,055. That's the maximum that anyone can pay into CPP in 2024. So again, for high incomes above $73,000, you would pay an extra $300 in CPP in the new year remember i said earlier that for cpp you make a contribution and your employer makes a contribution however if you're self-employed you are your employer so you're going to make two contributions one for yourself as an employee and another as an employer so the maximum cpp contributions for employees in 2024 is four thousand and fifty five dollars but for self-employed people it is double that amount which is $8,110 for self-employed people. As I round up this important update, don't forget that I'll also come back with more explanation and more examples to help you understand it better. Don't forget to check out the rest of the videos on this channel and please subscribe. This is a new channel and we seriously are looking for your support. So if you can subscribe, like this video and share it, you will be helping this channel and I will truly, truly appreciate it. Thank you for watching, guys, and I'll talk to you in the next one soon. Bye for now.